I can't tell you for sure how old I was when this happened, but I was quite young. Back then, in the summer, me and my parents would always spend a week or two at different places in different countries, staying in good hotels for the experience, which, for Europe, I think is quite common. This particular time we went to Spain. Back then, for some reason, I had already started being into scary stuff, like ghosts and things of that nature, so when I learned that my dad had been to this hotel when he was a kid, and it was supposed to be haunted, full of secret passages and other things, I couldn't contain the excitement. Just as you'd expect, it was a horrible night, with wind, rain and thunder when we got to the hotel, which was an actual castle on top of a hill. This was in Jaén, Spain. I can't remember the name of the hotel itself, but you can probably look it up and find it pretty easily. When we got inside the hotel itself, it was everything I hoped for. I remember asking at reception straight away if the hotel was actually haunted, which made the receptionist quite uncomfortable. Inside, the hotel was completely made of stone, with long corridors that had room doors to each side of them, the occasional suit of armor in a stand and loads of weird footprint markings all over the floors, walls and even the ceilings. They had probably just embraced the image of a haunted place, so this was part of the decoration throughout, including in the bedroom. I am not joking when I tell you this was one of the worst nights I can remember having lived through. Dinner was in this massive hall, with really high ceilings. We sat on a table that had this big reinforced wood door right behind my chair with a massive padlock on it and an image of a lion carved in stone on the arch just above it. The theories we came up with during dinner probably only helped what came next. Of course, being a kid and going through the whole we're in a haunted hotel train of thought, I was excited at first, but when it came time to go to bed, that was a different story. My parents wanted me to sleep in my own bed, which was a sofa bed right at the feet of their bed. I, however, completely refused and instead wanted to sleep in their bed, in between them for protection. Eventually they gave in and let me stay in with them, though that didn't really help. During the night, at around 2am, I woke up to a strange noise. There was this metal squeaking coming into the bedroom from somewhere I couldn't make out and it seemed to be moving around. I sat up to look around and that's when I realized. I wasn't in bed with my parents anymore. I was back in my bed. This terrified me. I got up, took my pillow, and squeezed back in the middle of the both of them while this squeaking continued. I understood now that it was coming through the vent, but I still had no idea what it was and eventually drifted off to sleep again. 3 AM. I woke up again, the squeaking still coming through, but now in a different direction. And not only that, but I was also back in my bed instead of safe in between my parents. I got up picked up my pillow, hugged it and sprinted back to their bed. I was climbing in between them with my dad moaning and almost waking up when the squeaking seemed to move places. It was now coming from under the door and as I looked a shadow slowly moved from the right to the left of our bedroom door accompanied by heavy thuds and the same squeaking noise now in a discernible rhythm. I couldn't avoid thinking the only possible thing this could be was one of the suits of armor walking around or something. I realized I had frozen in place so I practically dove into my little bed cave and hugged my mum tight. The squeaking stopped in the distance and again I drifted back to sleep. When I woke up again, frustration took over. I was in my bed. Again. But how? My parents were still fast asleep and the squeaking was now back, accompanied by the shadow under the door, this time going back and forth from one side to the other and thudding all around. It had to be footsteps, but was it really possible that it was a suit of armor walking around? I couldn't even swallow, out of fear that I would call attention to myself. I slowly got up, grabbed my pillow again and tiptoed back to my parents' bed, sliding back into the space between them that was left empty without me there. For that night, that was the last time I heard the squeaking and thudding and saw the shadow under the door. I drifted to sleep in the middle of a panic exhaustion and the next day, during breakfast, there was this girl with a massive scratch on her face that I could have sworn wasn't on her face the night before at dinner. My dad dismissed it and said she did have a scratch the entire time. I don't know how I kept waking up back in my bed, though it might have been because back then I was starting to sleepwalk, but the squeaking noises and the suit of armor walking around, that one I will never be able to explain. And I do believe that was the first time I ever experienced a haunting.